It's day seven of the Winter Olympics, and according to Sean White, today was the last time we will see him compete on a snowboard. I'm Chris Bumbaka. Here's what you missed Friday in Beijing, and we'll get you ready for Saturday's action, too. Sean White gave his tearful farewell to snowboarding as he took fourth in the men's halfpipe. His legacy? Three gold medals and the transformation of an entire sport. Here's to a happy retirement, sir. Michaela Schifrin left her first two disasters on the slopes in the rearview mirror, and she skied a clean Super G. A ninth place finish might have been considered a disappointment for the 26-year-old a week ago. For now, it's a testament to her fortitude. U.S. Ski and Snowboard confirmed Friday that it opened an investigation into allegations of inappropriate behavior within the snowboard cross team, including some that have been levied against its current head coach, Peter Foley. U.S. women's hockey avoided disaster and a quarterfinals upset against the plucky Czech Republic. The Americans needed a three-goal third period to advance to Monday's semifinals. And in what's becoming the non-competition story of these games, the International Testing Association announces that 15-year-old Camilla Valeva, who helped Russia to gold in team figure skating, tested positive for a banned substance on December 25th. A final decision on whether she can compete in the women's individual competition has not yet been reached. Let's get to what you should have on your radar for Saturday. Men's hockey faces Canada in their second game of the tournament. Speed skating. American phenom Jordan Stolls, 17 years old, makes his Olympic debut in the men's 500 meter short track. Two American ice dancing teams will skate their rhythm programs. Madison Chalk and Evan Bates, as well as Madison Hubble and Zach Donahue. Both teams are in medal contention. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.